Hi Scorpio! My name is Tiana and welcome to my channel Inspired by Ease and I just want to welcome all the new subscribers that have been coming on. I really appreciate you. Um, before we get into your really incredible reading today, Scorpio, I just have to say that of course this is general. You can swap around the characters. I might be talking about you or a cross watcher or another key important person or character or opportunity in your life and my readings don't have an expiration date so it might resonate with you now it might not and if it doesn't then feel free to give a look <laughs> watch um, my recent past readings that I've done and also feel free to check out your moon and rising signs or any really um, readings that I've done that you feel called to watch and and uh, right now I'm just working with two oracle decks not so much tarot it's just my vibe so without further ado let's get started you have perception tantric journey and third eye chakra these cards come from my sacred geometry oracle deck and sacred geometry is the language of the soul so even if you don't understand all of these symbols i'm going to break it down for you but just think of it as energetic medicine that your body is needing right now at this time and let's dive right in so so essentially this is telling me the story that your your third eye is being open and activated and this activation is increasing an awareness and a new perception of reality of a person of an opportunity of yourself and it is and this new uh perception is activating more creativity more flow more of an organic development and unfolding in your life and you are also activating your um, root and sacral chakras of creativity and uh, energy so this is all very exciting energy that you have going on Scorpio and I am so excited for you so the first card that you got is the third eye and I must say that there are there's a lot of purple going on here and purple is all about um, deep wisdom, our connection to source, and also I like to say royalty and abundance. So, and the third eye is our sixth chakra. And six represents appreciation, love, and harmony. So this is really, really wonderful. It seems like you are coming more into alignment with your life force and your greater purpose in life, perhaps. So uh, let's just quickly read the card. The frequency of the third eye chakra supports our intuition and our inner knowing, our imagination and our psychic powers. So yes, there is some kind of spiritual upgrade that is going on and it of course is going to affect your skills, abilities and talents. And you might be enhancing your own type of intuition and clairvoyance and uh, things like that. So it's all very, very exciting. Scorpio. Next we have Tantric Journey, another six with the four and the two. So more love, harmony, and appreciation here. And, um, and people associate the word Tantric with sexuality and it's true. Another word for sexuality is creativity. So it's and tantric just means an ever-growing and expansion of of anything so this is a never-ending expansion and development of your creativity and perhaps you are really starting to see that there really is no boundaries to what it is that you can create 
and um, what it is that you are capable of doing. And the two triangles here represent the union between divine masculine and divine feminine. There's a lot of integration and harmony that is going on with you, uh, Scorpio. It's just all really, really amazing. And we have more purple and we also have pink, which represents the divine feminine and nurturing and softness. So I just wanted to reference the guidebook really quickly because there is actually a lot going on in this card. So I mentioned that the two triangles represent the union between masculine and feminine. And then we also have the purple, which I mentioned, which is the connection to source and our expanding consciousness. And the uh all of the orange that you see here represents your sexual and creative energy that is building and expanding and being able to express your emotions and your creativity so not just tapping into it, but being able to express it through dance, through song, through art, through just speaking. And then there are uh, lots of swirling circles, which represent our origin that is off planet. So um, if you're into that kind of thing, but basically it is just speaking to your origin, to your core, to your truth, to your core truth of who you are and what you want. And then finally, there is some blue that is going on and it is the expression of truth. So there is a lot of expression that is going on with you, Scorpio, and it all has to do with your core beliefs, core emotions, um, your core purpose, and being able to express all of that. Um, and there is a lot of, of integration and union and harmony that is going on. And um, being able to express your spirituality in this 3D um, form based world. So there is a lot of spirituality and a spiritual conscious expansion that is going on. And I feel like this is altering your perception in some way. So, um, so it could be very well altering your perception of how you see yourself, how you see the world, how you see other people how you approach certain things and your beliefs about certain things like your health, like money, like uh, your career and relationships. And um, so, and again, we have more blue. We also have green and orange. So the orange is pointing to your creativity and the blue, your truth, speaking your truth. And green is the heart, so opening up your heart. So this very well, this um, new perception of reality that you're experiencing might very well be um, heart healing, heart opening um, in some way. And... Uh, all of the circles and all of the spiraling that's going on in this image is, uh, I think, pointing to being, one, being in flow with the, basically being able to see the world through God's eyes, being in flow, and also um, the spiral that goes up energetically from this from our being um so if you could imagine an energetic line coming from the source of our being up to the heavens it's a spiral 
So, and constantly um, receiving and giving input from that spiral and just basically pointing to our ever-growing ascension to be more in alignment with God, love, and harmony, and peace, and all of that. And then there is also this black color, which I think just points to the, the absolute depth of what you are experiencing and the wisdom and the insights and everything that that you are experiencing you you aren't just having a third eye opening you are having it looks like a whole body activation here because we have the third eye and the crown we have the heart we have the throat chakra we have the sacral um and root chakras going on here so there is something very transformational that is going on for you scorpio and um and i think you're starting to really hone all of your your creative power here to really create the kind of world that you want to live in and that you want to create so it's all very exciting now let's jump into the fairies so the first two cards you have are Ecstasis and the Maiden. <laughs> I just love this combination of cards because Ecstasis is just, you know, ecstasy really. And you can see that it, you're all lined up. I was just saying that this isn't just a third eye activation. This is a whole body energetic body activation for you and look you're all lit up there and you're branching out and expanding so what whatever that has been going on um for you scorpio i feel like it's very major um i feel like i feel like you used to maybe in the recent past it wasn't like this for you at all maybe there is a bit of lethargy and depression maybe depression maybe um just like sedentary maybe boredom that kind of thing and now you're fully lit up and it's just so amazing and <laughs> what the cause of all of this is some kind of brand new beautiful precious new beginning or um a seed of an idea or realization or epiphany or a literal baby. Um, I just love her. She is just, just pure joy, pure potential. And uh, that, you know, when, when you first get an idea and it's just so yummy and so exciting and, you know, like the world is your oyster and that kind of thing before there's any kind of doubt or limiting beliefs or fears or anything that that arise that's what she represents just that pure unlimited potential of just joy love peace and harmony and um i also get tickled pink and i can hear her giggling and um, I can also hear all sorts of children playing and laughing and giggling and just having really a grand time. So um, the, the source of all of this, of you getting lit up, is some kind of brand new beginning or idea or opportunity um, that just ticks all the boxes for you that makes you all lit up inside that really meets you on every single level and you are um you are able to just i mean i'm getting mm, i'm getting that remembering like you're starting to remember who you really are you're starting to remember that you are this beautiful precious angelic being uh, I'm just seeing like an angel here um, in the background and 
And then there's the expression that we were talking about too. So this is helping you to really branch out and express and uh, express all of these emotions that you're feeling. And it really seems to all be the, the right move to express and to just start creating and start moving and with the maiden we have a uh, 14 up, up at the top so the one and the four come to a five and five represents changes so i feel like whatever this is this is really inspiring you to move and make positive changes in your life the next two cards we have are the Piper and Tom on the Poet. So the Piper represents wordless communication and it's just all very, just very, very beautiful. Um, this, whatever this maiden represents for you, a person, opportunity, an idea, um, whatever it is, um, it is speaking your soul song. It is just speaking directly to your heart, to your mind, to your emotions. And it just totally gets you. And like I said, it just checks all of your boxes. And um, you might even be receiving, um, like I said before, you are experiencing more tuition, more abilities, and more communication from source, your angels and guides. So um, it's, you are receiving these, these whispers and you're really starting to listen to these whispers and follow them. And, um, and it's leading down, it's leading you down a path that it is getting, is leading you down the path to your ultimate desire. And you don't have to know the whole plan or the whole blueprint or anything before you do it. You're you're just you're just stepping on one stone after the other. You don't have to see all 50 stones, all 50 steps in front of you. God, source, your angels, guides are just giving you stone step by step by step. And you're and you're following that and you're and you're following it with your heart with just your feelings and um, also in the guidebook tantric journey it says to just put on some music and just stand close your eyes and just allow your body to move don't don't try to dance good or what you think is good just allow your body to move in the way that it wants to move in response to the music and I feel like that's what you're doing in more in more of your life you're starting to take the action that feels good to you rather than what you feel like you need to do or should do you're just living life in a more organic way and living more from your feelings and what feels good and what um, what you're guided to do and say more and it's just all really really beautiful now we have Tyome on the poet and he is um, he is just such a romantic and he will spend 24 hours just trying to find the perfect words to end a love letter with and um, so I'm feeling like you're having this dance between between movement and also inner reflection. And I feel like this is the right course of action. Um, sometimes sometimes he says um, you're you're not taking enough action or you're or, or this anyway, but for you, Scorpio, um this is perfect, having that balance of inner reflection and letting yourself be inspired to action. And this is just all really, really beautiful energy and you're just coming more and more alive 
within yourself. Now we do have the soul shrinker and um, I feel like basically this, the soul shrinker is representing um, negative voices. This could actually be an actual person, a person at work, um, a person in your family, take it how it lands. Um, but basically what I'm getting off of this card is that he is representing the the voice of like uh, of basically other people or just this inner voice is trying to rush you is trying to force you is trying to um snap you out of your inner guidance and inner intuition and basically this represents the rest of society perhaps, you know, that's telling you, go, 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 you have to work hard, you, you know, all of these negative limiting beliefs that aren't true, that stem from childhood in a lot of cases. And so this is just a very, it seems like just a very um, minor, it's playing a very minor role in your life, but it is something that you're currently kind of struggling a little, a little bit, struggling a little bit with, um, but you're in the process of releasing it and letting, and letting your guidance, um, your soul song be the, the strongest and what rules your life basically. And, um, not, not these other people, not this other energy, not this other, other voice in the back of your head saying that you have to rush or do things a certain way or that um you know this isn't how life is or that that sort of thing i think i think you get what i'm saying i hope um but you are getting through it and i feel like the piper god source energy your guides your angels are helping you transcend this this soul shrinker energy because once you do you will just I mean most of the time you are and more and more you are getting lit up and so once you really conquer this you know really the world will be your oyster Scorpio <laughs> This is all really, really amazing, and I hope we're doing okay on time. I can't really see the time. So um, the next we have is Laskuna. And so, yeah, this is what I'm saying. I feel like you are... I'm not so sure about um, in the most, like, upcoming future about... so. There's a lot of symbology that is going on here. So there's a lot of realizations and growth and expansion and epiphanies that are going on. And you're having this beautiful dance of inner reflection and really letting all of this uh, really absorb into your energetic body and for it to really all sink in. And you're allowing yourself to take this inspired action and make these improvements and changes in your life. And that's what Las Guna represents. And it's all about integration and union. It's about being in the present moment. While also, it, it also represents 3D changes and 3D movements. She is a little froggy. Um, so, you know, she's, she's hot toing. <laughs> she's hopping to it. So, yeah, I feel like you are having this very beautiful dance, a very balanced dance of this inner reflection and moving, you know, making, making the necessary changes if that applies in your life. Um, you're not just, you're not just absorbing it and, which is really good. You, you are absorbing it. And you're making the improvements and changes in your life. And I also want to say that um, 
she also represents, so it's all about being present now, being present now, and also being at total peace in the moment, which I see you coming more into alignment with. And what I mean by that is that you might have this desire out here that you really want and your current reality, of course, isn't completely matching that. So there are some aspects in your life that are unwanted. But the really beautiful thing is, is that I see you being at peace with that. So you're at peace with your desire and your dream and you're at peace with what's current in your life and you're not trying, you're not resisting any of it, um, but you are taking steps forward to make the necessary improvements and changes in your life. And it's just, it's just all really, really beautiful. Yeah, it's just all really beautiful. Um, the next card we have is Sylvanius and Masks Off, basically. So, um, I feel that for you, Scorpio, maybe you have been kind of like, even in some kind of scenario where I want to say for some of you, like corporate America or just like some kind of corporate setting. And, um, where, where it was at that time in the recent past, it was very uh, correct of you to kind of wear a mask, to kind of wear a facade, and to kind of like self-preserve and to protect yourself and to, you know, you weren't, you weren't quite, quite ready maybe to be seen as the outcast or like the weird one or, or whatever it is, um, whatever it represents for you. Um, because I do feel like you are in the process of breaking the mold in some way, whether that is breaking out of a old painful family paradigm or a, you know, the standard way that most of society lives. Um, but in, yeah, in some way you are now ready to take that mask off and reveal who you really are and everything that you've been working towards because it's almost like you can't hide it anymore. And I also want to point down down here because <laughs> that's being lit up too and it's all pointing to your to your creativity and it's just shining from within where you can't really hide it and I feel like um maybe some people have been kind of like whispering like what's going on with Scorpio what what is going on um because maybe you know it just seems like you've been making these major shifts in your life and, um, and you just have this totally different vibe about you and people are really starting to notice. And so now you're just taking the mask off and being, yeah, <laughs> yeah, things are very different for me. And this is what I'm working on. And maybe you are about to put in your two week notice at your job, um, you know, making some kind of announcement um, about what it is that you have been working on or what it is that you've been planning. And um, it's very, it's very freeing for you, I feel. Now, the last card that we have, Scorpio, is Elise the Moon's daughter. So, yeah, I, I am feeling that, um, one I always get, uh, off this card is rock solid. So wherever you're moving towards is going to be rock solid and it's going to be so in alignment with what it is that you want and crave and desire. 
The other message that I'm getting for you, Scorpio, is that you have been in the process of integrating and unifying light and shadow. So because we have, yeah, I'm just getting light and shadow and that has been, that has been the perhaps trigger to this whole, to all of this energy of you, of your entire system and body getting lit up in such a major way and this activation, there has been some kind of activation of, of light and shadow blending together. So, um, which has just increased your confidence, which has increased perhaps your psychic abilities, your intuition, your clairvoyance, your, your manifesting powers for sure. And, um, and you are just more in alignment with you than you ever have been. And you have so much more clarity about where it is that you're going and you're just flying into this wonderful future. And I do feel that, I do feel that, um, I don't feel like it's going to be like an instant change, but it's going to, you're just making these very great strides in your life. And there's all of these improvements that are going on. And a lot of it is internal and it's, and it's also being expressed, um, externally at the same time. It's just all really, really beautiful energy that is going on. And I just want to end it with that. You are transcending whatever this represents. Um, all the naysayers, um, all of that energy, because where you're headed is totally rock solid. And, um, and the thing that is going to totally heal this is tuning into your heart, tuning into your angels and guides and spirits and letting this be the dominant voice. And that will, whenever this comes up, it'll just slide right off of you. It won't stick and it won't be able to hold at all. So um, I see you having these great, wonderful uh, spiritual advancements and all of that translating into 3D changes and hopping and flying into this uh, better suited opportunity or relationship for you. Um, and it's just it is just all really, really beautiful. And, um, and there's, I'm not feeling any rush and you're just this, it's just this gradual, beautiful unfolding for you. And you're really starting to hone this energy and build momentum and, um, all of these new perceptions are just going to increase and broaden and expand. Um, and whatever the opportunity is, whatever the relationship is, whatever the idea is, it has unlimited potential and unlimited growth because we do have the maiden and we have the tantric journey. So it's just going to be a never ending, beautiful unfolding and blossoming and expansion and growth. So Scorpio, thank you so much. This was so fascinating and so interesting. And I hope that there was something in here that resonated with you and was of value to you. Um, I do have an Etsy shop. If you want to check it out, I am a jewelry maker and a painter. So there might be some really cool stuff that might interest you there. And until next time, Scorpio, I love you so much. You are never, ever, ever alone. And always be kind to yourself and be kind to others. Bye.